Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your September 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now you're watching Thomas's Tarot page or Thomas's Tarot reading. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And if you're new here, you should like, subscribe and share widely. Um, yeah, so that's that. And before we go into the reading for the month of September for the sign of Pisces, Here's just a quick reminder. I mentioned this a couple of months ago that I worked with a friend of mine and collaborated on a um, 38 spirit animal guide oracle card deck called Fauna. And we're all ready to go. And what we have now, we have a Kickstarter campaign on and um, it only runs until the end of September. So please pledge now and help us turn this beautiful um, card deck into reality. You can see the link uh, to it uh, in the description box and a little and you can see a little box here uh, that highlights the Kickstarter. In any case, are you ready? So what we do here, we go into um, three different areas for the reading. It's easier for me to read it then and for you to get more out of it, if that makes sense. So we're looking at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look at your emotional core. Emotional core is oftentimes um, if love is coming in, what can go, if there's trauma that needs to be looked at, that kind of stuff. Before we then finally look at opportunities. Um, and opportunities, for the most part, um, are about sort of what, what sustains you financially, if that makes sense, right? Having said all that, I only work here, medium means the guy in the middle, and whatever the guides say, I'll say. Anyway, with no further ado, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of September 2022. Let's see what we got for you. So, Pisces, quite interesting. The overall energy for Pisceans, which I am too, is the horse and the snake. Now, this is interesting because I would expect a combination like this to show up in the emotional core area, but it doesn't. It shows up in the overall energy for the month of September. Now, September is the ninth month. Nine is the number of completion. So, energetically speaking, September is oftentimes a bit of a pushy month. And here is what we are being asked or you are being asked, Pisces. The horse is saying, in September 2022, whenever you feel mm, not having the best day today, or when you, or should you feel overall that um, you need some me time, <coughs> the horse is telling you to take some me time, right? So the horse is about running wild, if that makes sense, but not running away. Um, really, really important. So this is about, uh, Pisceans in September, not giving in to stress, uh, if, if at all possible, right? Pay attention to who and what stresses you. And if you then feel, I need some time to think about stuff, I need some time to even recover, then walk away. Also, logically speaking, walk away from people and situations that you already know aren't going anywhere. And the reason why this is so important is because apart from the horse, we have the snake. Now the snake is the animal of protection, right? When you go to the cane, to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. So it has to do with health. Therefore, the message for us Pisceans is um, that the reason why we're being asked to, to have um, almost like a break, even though I'm not getting um, you, you stop working, if that makes sense, or, or stop showing up for whatever it is you agree to. It's, it's, it's more like, you know, be, be in charge wherever you, you are and, and don't take crap, if that makes sense, right? So therefore minimizing um, stressful situations by being a bit more aware, right? But ultimately, what we're being asked in the month of September 2022 is to pay attention to how we truly feel and if at all possible, step back a little. Okay, wasn't expecting that, but here it goes, that, that's how it goes. Anyway, so let's look at the um, emotional core, see what the guides have got for us here. Yeah, 
We have the raccoon and the brown bear. Okay, so as you know, or most of you probably know, I work with um, spirit animal guides and every animal has some sort of a message, if that makes sense. And the raccoon is known as a shapeshifter, while the brown bear is all about you healing. And it is about the, the more feminine side of you healing. So if you are a gentleman, um, you, you are being asked to go into your softness, into your... Um, more sensitive side and don't hide it right so anyway the raccoon is a shapeshifter and then the brown bear comes in as well so what the guides are saying is what they're expecting us pisceans to do is or not to do rather is to adapt to situations again goes hand in hand with the overall energy here we're being asked when it comes to okay so the point i'm making is i'm not getting major vibes for love coming in now that doesn't mean that love isn't coming in but apparently the guides are not talking about this what i'm getting here is all about not acting whatever that means right so you know when people say to you so how are you doing today um, most people will say oh thank you i'm fine even when they feel totally crap that kind of stuff and the raccoon is basically the guy that that says you know wherever you show up uh, most people will never know if there's something wrong with you and how you truly feel, right? Because you have a you have a way of conveying that everything is fine even when it's not, which is very likely a survival instinct as well. But because the outgoing energy is the brown bear for Pisceans, it's important for the entire month of September because we have already been asked in the overall energy to walk away uh, from stuff that isn't us. In our emotional core, we can expect for trauma to show up again and for us, therefore, finding ways to release it. And the way to release it is by not staying where you feel you're not welcome and not just pretending everything is fine. Right? It's all about me time. Again, I feel like I'm repeating myself here. Um, and... Um, but it is what it is, right? I'm getting what I'm getting. That makes sense, right? So, now, lastly, let's look into opportunities. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm a bit reluctant because in my mind, it's probably difficult to actually manifest opportunities when we're all asked not to do much, if that makes sense. But then again, I could be totally wrong, <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. Opportunities. We have another. We have. We have the bear again, right? <laughs> and we have the domesticated cat. What the guides are saying is the only way for for you in September to manifest better a better tomorrow is by again same message is by doing everything you want to do in any job you're in because that's all, that's about sort of what, what sustains you financially. Um, by also in work related stuff or even if you're self-employed is to again step away because you have the domesticated cat right we love them for who they are but unless they want to cuddle you they tell you to fuck off easily right <laughs> and that's what i'm getting i'm not telling i'm not getting you i'm not getting for you to say to the people off but the point is avoid being in situations where you feel like now i have to go there Right? So opportunities really only start once you are allowing yourself to let go of all the trauma, which is because we have another bear, right? And the bear is about healing deep trauma, if that makes sense. Um, so ultimately, there is not that many opportunities coming. And all they're saying is whatever it is you're manifesting, Make sure you're not manifesting situations just because you think you need the money, that kind of stuff, right? Make sure that you're not manifesting just another job that will not get you out of whatever place you find yourself in that doesn't make you feel welcome and appreciated, right? Guys, that was your September 2022 general reading. That's all we got. Thank you all so much. Please like, subscribe and share. And please, please, please help us turn the Kickstarter into a reality. Thank you so much. See you next month. Bye-bye.